Today is Friday, December 29th, 2023, and we have just wrapped up the last trading day of the year. Congrats, guys, if you've made it this far. This is the weekly recap video for the gamma exposure levels that were released at the start of this week. And we just like to take a look at the end of the week at price action to see how it actually interacted with the levels. If you're new to the YouTube channel, I just wanna bring it to your attention that I've been releasing these gamma exposure videos at the start of the week. So all the levels that you see on my charts were publicly highlighted in this video right here. So you can go back and check this out and then we're taking a look at price action. So I haven't really changed any of these levels. If you're in the Quant Trading app Discord, these are the levels here at the start of the week. Again, before price action happens, this is a screenshot of the gamma profile as I like to save it so I can come back, journal it, archive, see what I might've missed. And that's how I've actually gotten pretty good at using these gamma exposure levels. It comes from putting the time in after the market is closed and actually journaling and then being able to assess what you might've missed. The obvious thing to call out right here is this orange, very saturated golden strike that was on our charts. This was discussed in that video and I highlighted it as this significant strike because we had so much confluence at this level. You guys have been hearing me say this for this entire year. The absolute gamma strike prices, that's what this AG stands for, tends to be an area of a lot of liquidity and it tends to act as a magnet. Price likes to be very choppy around this level. I've been doing this for a while now and I've seen it happen time and time again. Earlier in this year, traders were a little bit confused and that's why I started doing these videos to really showcase to you guys because I'm not sure how many of you are actually putting the time in after the market closed, going back and looking at the data. All of the data is archived within Quant Trading App. You guys know you can go and check out the archive gamma exposure tab and you can actually pull up every single day's worth of gamma exposure for the past 365 days. And over a year and a half worth of weekly gamma exposure levels have been archived. So you guys can take a look at what was the absolute gamma at the start of the day, what was the absolute gamma for the week and then pay attention to price action this right here so that it, this was a short trading week so we had one two three four trading days and look at how much time the price spent around this absolute gamma strike that is three out of the four days price interacted with 475 at least once there were multiple occasions in which it actually interacted with that strike price it doesn't actually have to touch exactly 475 it's just about understanding the general area around here now as we take a look at this we see i've done a few videos this week so i'm not going to repeat myself so much this video should be a little bit shorter as it's the weekend and then i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are preparing for some sort of new year's eve celebrations so i'm going to keep this one pretty concise what we have right here choppy consolidation price acting as a magnet then today on friday price ended up selling off heading coming down to this level puncturing this second highest absolute gamma strike and again these levels were all aggregated at the start of the week so obviously there were some changes and fluctuations in the gamma exposure as the week progressed but as you guys know i like to do the work once at the start of the week i'll make a tweak or an adjustment here or there if i think it's really necessary but nine out of ten times i'm just leaving these levels exactly as they are as they as i started the week this range right here as you guys know is where i highlighted was the biggest clump of uh, positive gamma if we take a look this is what i'm referring to right here so this was the area in which i saw a lot of positive gamma above this highest positive gamma strike and then at the bottom here these were the strike prices that had a nice clump of negative gamma so that's what these little red rectangles right here and then this green rectangles represents on my chart what this means is if price is above this high positive gamma strike it is likely going to want to stay within this area and we are in an overall net positive gamma environment so that means price wants to stay within this range and it wants to be around the high positive gex strikes if price got above 478 which it did not then 480 would have been the next strike in which we would have been targeting so keeping it simple as that this was the range if you guys remember at the start of the week i believe you guys can go check out the video at the start of this week you can check out any any of the other videos in which i've released this week and this is exactly what i was addressing here the expectation would be for the spy to end the week within this area this was a week in which there weren't any real major catalysts if there's going to be a major catalyst then obviously that will change investor sentiments and if an investor sentiment changes we will see that reflection in price action but for the most part if it's up to the algorithms to just trade all day long if it's up to the hedge funds and the high frequency trading firms and all this stuff to just ping pong price around this would be the expectation as that is the way they are programmed to my knowledge that is the way these machines are trading and most of us as retail traders will sit here chopping around and fighting all this i've released a couple of videos this week also addressing how you can use this information to take very simple high probability trades so let me just demonstrate a couple for example 
And here we have it. This is a SPY butterfly. So this is pretty much just saying, hey, I don't think the market is going to go anywhere. It's going to just stay around 475 for this week. This would be an idea or a type of strategy in which you can use whenever we see the gamma profile look similar to what we saw this week in the future, especially if there's a week where there's not a lot of catalysts. I just went in and highlighted this is not a trade in which I took. So I just want to make that clear. This one and the other trade in which we're going to be looking at are not trades in which I took. I did videos this week already addressing some of the ways in which I use the information to enter other types of positions. I actually went for an iron condor. I went for a broken wing butterfly. I went for a zero DT iron condor. And I went for a couple other different types of trades, again, in which I was able to discuss in some of the previous videos. This is more about if you are new to this type of trading, you want to keep it simple. Maybe you just want to take maybe one or two trades. How can you take this information here and then actually convert it into some sort of profitable situation for yourself? So this right here would be at the start of the week. So I'm just using right around 10 a.m., 9.30, 10 a.m., 10.30 Eastern time here so about 15 30 45 minutes or so after the market opened i just took this screenshot here to mark what this spread would have been going for and then i put the information into option strat just so we can see so for roughly about a dollar 60 is what this butterfly spread would have been going for and then just as the market closed here today the spread was going for four dollars and 63 cents that is a 187 percent return and almost an exact pin on this butterfly. By all extensive measures, we can just call this a pin because yes, it's never going to be exactly to the penny, but this is pretty close. It's off by a few cents. This is a nice, easy way to trade on a week like this because as you guys can see, the PL on this butterfly never dipped below the entry price. So even if you got filled at $1.75, it's nothing that crazy if it dropped down to $1.61. You're down less than 15 cents. That is a great trade to bring in, especially when you're thinking about a risk reward. And then when you're thinking about not really having to manage the trade either because it never gave you a reason to need to manage it. This is the spy for people with smaller accounts, or I just wanted to highlight an example with the SPX. This is essentially the same thing. So just using a butterfly spread, again, this is almost an exact translation to this, and the SPX is going to be about 10 times the size. So as you guys can see, the return about the same 180 something percent return. So again, the numbers will be a little bit off because I just inputted this in this case here. I'm using this was a dollar 61. This here I was just hovering the mouse around and it was going for 1735. This should generally be about 10 times the same amount of the spy. So as you guys can see here, about a $3,000 return or about a $300 return. It just depends on your account size. I recommend if you're trading butterfly spreads to use the SPX or at least use the XSP if you have a smaller account because it is cash settled and you won't have to worry about being assigned. So that's definitely something you'll want to look into. But trading spreads makes this very simple and actually makes weeks like this pretty simple again 30 minutes after the market opens you see what's going on in price action it's hovering around here you see vwap and then you tell yourself you know what i checked out brian's video or i did my own research i use whatever tool i use for gamma exposure i did my own analysis i checked the economic calendar i noticed there's nothing really spectacular going on i know we're in a positive gamma environment so reduced volatility is expected i understand that this is the last trading week of the year so a lot of traders are probably on vacation. I understand that it should have low volatility for this week. XYZ, XYZ, XYZ. You just list out all of your reasons and then you tell yourself how do you turn that information into a trade that you can actually take. And then on top of that, it provide a week like this provided so much time to do a bunch of other stuff. In my case, I pumped out so many videos this week because it was very simple to trade this. Once all this was highlighting here, I already had massive convictions regarding what to to expect for a week like this. On top of that, Max Payne was somewhere down here, if I remember correctly. I'll actually turn that on my chart. By the way, I wanted to also address there is no studies on this chart, so I'm just going to turn off all the studies. The only thing here is actually the standard VWAP that ships right in the box, so there's no fancy indicators or anything. I'm just using a tool like Quantrading app, but again, you can use any type of analysis for gamma exposure. There's a lot of great ways to be able to check this. And obviously I'm gonna be biased to Quantrading app because I'm the lead developer there. I built these tools to make it very easy to actually access this type of information. But at the end of the day, if I were to clear this chart, you guys can see these were levels were drawn in pretty uh, manually here. So I'll just turn that back on. Let's head to studies. I'm just And I'm just going to throw on the QTA script for the intraday just so you guys can see where Max Payne was. And we see it right down here, so 473. And that also, the end of last year, the market actually was choppy and then it sold off and then right in towards the last you know, few minutes, it actually ended up rallying. So let me just pull that up for you guys also, uh, which we would have right here. So let me just make this full screen. 
This is a screenshot. Again, I journal almost every single day of the year. I've been taking screenshots. I analyze, I take pictures of everything. So this was last year, the last trading day of the year. I take screenshots and I log the trades that I took. I take, I trade a lot of spreads. So every single week out of the year, that's how I'm able to just go back into my archives and pull up exactly what happened on the last trading day of last year. This blue level that's dashed on the chart is the max pain strike for the weekly expiration for that week. So we can see that the market ended up rallying towards the max pain strike at the end of last year so at the start of this uh, day here I was aware that the max pain strike was all the way down here if you know anything about max pain then I don't need to explain it but in case this is your first time seeing this the max pain strike is the strike that has the least amount of intrinsic value and it is an incentive for option sellers to have the price close close to this strike price because this is in a sense where most option buyers will lose money that is a poor you know as quick as I can just explain that so in other words what does that translate to if you've never heard any of this I just call it a magnet I keep it simple if the spot price is all the way up here I see max price, max pain is down here. This was the highest absolute gamma strike for the day. These two strike prices, if I'm explaining it to my niece or my nephew who are not even five years old, I would just tell them, hey guys, this is where, you know, this is an attraction. This is a magnet. Try to explain to them what a magnet is. I will show it to them and just know these price, these strike prices here will have some sort of a pull on price. It doesn't always work that way, but for the last trading day of the year, I'm going to think that, hey, what's the best way that option sellers who are generally much smarter than retail traders what are they going to try and do they want the price to close at a strike price in which people that were option buyers will lose the most amount of money and that will help create some sort of a directional bias for the day i recorded a video here today on a trade in which i took for a zero dt position but i think this pretty much sums up this video next year i don't expect to be releasing as many videos as i've been releasing i also don't know if i'll be able to continue to keep releasing these videos at the start of every week with these levels you guys that are in qta you guys already know i'll continue to share them if you guys need me to share them if you're still confused i will be referencing the videos in the future especially the step-by-step -step how i'm actually plotting these levels out but for the most part i hope you guys really learned a lot this month as i've been trying to upload as much as i can I would ideally like to get back to programming and coding some new features. I'm working on a zero DTE algorithm. I'm working on something that can actually help contribute to a lot more zero DTE faster type of trades. I've been converting myself to getting shorter and shorter time frames. If you guys have been listening to me for a while, then you know I preferred trading longer DTE over 14, 15 DTE. I would trade 21 DTE, sometimes 45 DTE. Occasionally, I would take a zero DTE here and there, but now I'm starting to trade a lot more less than three DTE. Nowadays, I'm even trading a lot more zero DTE, and I would like to use some sort of a systematic approach i've reverted back to when i first started trading using opening ranges but now having tools like gamma exposure and then obviously the other tools that are available within qta these are just helping to assist making even cleaner trading decisions so i would like to get back to programming again as i've mentioned in previous videos before i'm also a filmmaker i have a lot of ambitions and goals for next year one of them being to actually participate in at least 10 short films and then the following year my goal is to be working on my first feature films so i have a lot of ambitions over the next two years and i can't say that uploading this many frequent youtube videos would be a primary objective i do like educating i do like sharing this information and i do like helping out traders so i'll obviously do my best to maintain some sort of a balance here but for the most part it is rinse and repeat every single week take a look at the calendar for the week see what major catalysts they are plot my gamma exposure levels on my chart use the other tools within qta if you're not in qta you can actually take a look at the options chain and plot levels that have high open interest for the week and that might give you some sort of an edge also there is actually a free qta study so let me just um here Oh, actually, I forgot to mention this here. I, I think it's not even worth mentioning. I did a video in the past where if you're expecting the uh, markets to be pretty choppy and have some sort of a doji, I did an analysis between four different types of spreads. I, I will leave a link to this uh, my research here in that video. And th this was just another way in which you could have participated in this week. So this is an iron butterfly and iron condor and then count the spreads. The reason this video, I decided to just cover the iron flies because based on my research and my analysis early in the year, I found that the iron butterfly is probably just the best approach to go with if you're expecting the market to end up closing right around where it ended up opening, you're gonna get the best bang for your buck. So that's why I isolated that, I forgot to show that. 
and then uh actually i don't even remember what i was going to show so i'm definitely going to end the video here i think it's friday i want to get out the office and hopefully you guys enjoyed i don't even remember what i said i was going to show but i do have another i do have a couple of the videos to record this uh weekend oh yeah i just remembered it is actually the public section here within the discord we have the scripts that are published so you can use this open interest script that's going to plot the open interest levels for the spy on your charts the spx is also included and then there was a recent script here these both are free so if you're in qta and you're not interested in upgrading to gold just know that this script here will probably be one of the best you know free tools that you can use to help get at least some kind of level levels on your chart because I do understand not everyone can afford to be within QTA that will help also and again pay attention to the YouTube channel whenever I release these videos at the start of the week that should also help thanks for watching guys I hope you're having or had a great weekend I hope you're ready to celebrate an awesome new year and then I hope 2024 will be an excellent year for everyone thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one